What's up jammers? Welcome back to another video, but before we get started, I want to give a big shout out to the Pill Club for sponsoring today's video. So as you guys already know, going to the pharmacy in person is so 2021. Now you can get your birth control online, prescribed and delivered for free with the Pill Club. I love the fact that they carry over 120 FDA approved brands and they ship to all 50 states. And you guys already know that most brands of birth control are free with insurance or Medicaid. Otherwise, prices start as low as $7 a month without insurance. I love the fact that the Pill Club delivers your birth control for free in discreet packaging, along with self-care gifts and goodies. Right now, when you go to thepillclub.com slash jam, the Pill Club is offering a $10 donation to bedsider.org for every jam family follower who becomes a patient. Your donation will help low-income individuals get access to birth control through bedsider.org. That's thepillclub.com slash jam to get your first birth control care package and donate to help more women in need of affordable birth control. Remember, it is thepillclub.com slash jam and you must use the link to make a donation. Thank you once again, The Pill Club, for sponsoring today's video. What's, What's up, guys? guys? What's up, jammers? <laughs> I, I I lost it, you guys. But anyways, um, today it is mommy and daughter time. We're gonna spend um some time, some quality time together. As you guys already know, Aiden was sick over the weekend, so he re required a lot of Wait, my attention. I just noticed something. What, baby? I'm with you, and then Aiden's with Daddy. <gasps> I know. So the girls are together, and the boys are together. I know. We're all on a on a date, huh? So like I was saying, you guys, Aiden has had been sick, so he required a lot of my attention, and obviously that took time and attention from Mila. So I decided that today we do something fun. Um, I've been trying to convince her, and she finally decided that she wants to cut her hair. I always told her, "Mommy, let's let's trim your hair." She's like, nope, mm -mm. she doesn't even want to get a trim, you guys, because she loves long hair. I've been wanting to do a trim just because her hair gets so tangled. Um, and it's so hard to, like, you know, brush it because now she has it, like, down to her waist, a little bit past her waist. So it makes it really hard to detangle it and just style her hair. Um, so she decided she even wants to, she doesn't even want a trim. She wants to go short. How short do you want to go, baby? To my shoulders. To your shoulders? You want to show them where? Right there? Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm happy for her, for her because she's trying something new. Um, so like I told her, you know, if you don't like it, it ends up growing back. Her hair grows so, Her hair grows... Fast. Her hair grows really fast. Her hair grows really fast, so we won't have an issue. But I'm excited because she's going to try a new look, and I can't wait to see her. She's going to look so beautiful. It, it reminds me of when she was a little girl. Tenía su pelito así, chiquito. So I'm excited. I'm going to get her, um, do her haircut, and then probably grab some food and just hang out with her for a little bit. And then I'll drop her off with her dad, and that way she can... Um, Spend some time with him. Right now, Jose took Aiden, and I'm taking Mila, and then we're just going to switch. But we also, um, Mila wanted to get her dad a Christmas gift. And what did you think we should get, Mila? A watch. Yeah, you guys. So she wants to get him a watch. Obviously, um, you know, even though we're separated and stuff, he is the father of my kids and stuff. Um, and, you know, we still, we, still, we still love him, and I love him. And, you know, I think he's an, he's an amazing man. So we're going to go and get him a, a watch. Last year for Christmas, I had a bought... A black one. Yes. A black matches with everything. Yes, you're right. And last year, I, we, me and Mila decided to get him a gift too, which we did. And then it ended up breaking from the strap. And we, he was so bummed out. So this year, Mila was like, Mommy, can we get my dad a gift, a Christmas gift? And I asked her what she wanted to get him. And she said, a, um, a watch. So I agree, you know. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And Mila says black because it matches with everything, which is which I agree. And I, that's one of his favorite colors. So we're just going to go do that. Um, but yeah, you guys, we're going to bring you guys along. And I hope you guys have fun with us. See you at the mall. Okay, guys, so we are now in Plaza Manita, um, and we're doing a quick little stop to get some smoothies at Surf City. Uh, what did you get, Princess? Um, a Thai tea boba. Thai tea boba. 
Manitoba. Oh, her, her drink and drink. So that's Mila's drink. And her pink. We got a pink straw. This is her favorite drink, you guys. Thai tea with boba. Um, every time we come to Plaza Manita, this is a must. Yeah, I got you, baby. It's like a must for her. She loves her Thai tea with boba. I usually get the the, the strawberry, strawberry, strawberry blueberry smoothie with uh, boba. You guys, this is so good. I've been getting this for a very, very long time since I was little. Um, my ex brother in law used to bring me here, and he used to get me this. And ever since then, I've been getting it. So now we're gonna go grab some food because we're starving and then we'll get her haircut. Oh, look how Mila takes off her mask. Show him again, show him again. Look how Mila takes off her mask. Go. <laughs> You're so silly, mommy. <laughs> Love you, princess. Okay, guys, look at her food. Yummy Mongolian food. I really got it all the way down. <laughs> so. Every time we're at Plaza Manita, it's a must that we get boba and Mongolian food, right, Princess? Um, what was I gonna say, you guys? Um, wait. Hi, we're good, thank you. Um, but you guys, I wanted to uh, share how much I'm enjoying this time right now. It's been a very, very long time that I spent time with Mila by ourselves. I think um, after Aiden was born, we have not spent one-on-one -on -one time. And I feel like, um, you know, I kind of, I, I missed, I miss spending time with her because, you know, she's my little girl. And before we were, we were always together. It was just the two of us. But now it's, you know, after Aiden came um, and, I kind of was just so focused on Aiden and you know like obviously when they're so little they, they require attention it was the three of us. just the three of us but it was daddy you and me yeah it was the three of us then Aiden came and you know he's Aiden little he's so nice ball no he will never steal his ball baby no never. in the bed oh yeah but now you we all share the bed right Yeah. So, you know, it's it's been a little hard, you guys, and I've been really, really just enjoying this moment with her. I missed my baby. I missed my spending time with her. So now that we got the time to do this just for ourselves, it's honestly so refreshing. And, you know, I, I love spending time with my little girl. She's my little what? best friend. I love spending time with her. She's my little best friend, guys. And, you know, I, I love this age because she can actually talk now and have like hold conversations and tell me, she tells me how she feels, what she thinks and you know just hearing her express herself and I think it's the cutest thing ever and just hey, I didn't know he had a walk on the Oh, and his little walker, yeah. So Aiden has a little walker, you guys, and he's learning. It's not the walker that like I right. Oh, yeah. like yeah, no, no. It's, so it's like a little pushing rocker. So it's no. Now he walks. It's a pushing toy. So he holds on to it. He has to push it, and he ha he walks. And he actually is doing it on his own. I gotta record him. But he's growing up so fast. He's only ten months, and here he wants to be walking. He doesn't even know how to crawl yet. But he wants to be walking and like even I'll hold his shirt um, I'll hold his clothes like this and he'll start walking on his own there's obviously times where he'll like fall to the side but literally just me pinching onto it he'll start walking so I think he's gonna start walking soon right Mila? all right guys so we're gonna enjoy our food right now and then we'll cut Mila's hair oh that's what we came for and I'm so excited are you I'm nervous? excited to ride the car because there's like little cars there that you get a ride on. Oh yeah, that's right. And like you just get to like push it around. Yeah. How are you? Tell them how you're feeling about getting a haircut. I feel happy and nervous. 
nervous at the same time because I don't know if it's like because this is actually my first time cutting my hair. Well, you had a cut before, but, but I, never. it's always it's always been a trim, super short. I mean, never short. So this is the first time she ever cuts it short. Just my tips. Yeah, we've always cut just the tips. Because it's always split like that. Yeah, you had split ends. So we would always just do trim. So this is the first time she's actually getting a real sh like shortcut. Um, you guys can see, let me show them your hair. So you guys can see how long her hair is. It's literally down to her way, way lower, to, almost to her butt. So she does want to go super short. She said she wants to do this short. So we're taking off a good probably two, Chunk. four, six, like a good 12 inches, I would say. Huh, Mila, maybe we can tell them if you can donate it. We'll ask. They'll probably do, do a break. Or they'll probably braid it. Donate the hair. Well, because there's there's people that have cancer and they go through chemotherapy and they lose their hair. So then that makes them really sad. And you donate your hair so that they can make make wigs for them. And then they can reuse them. I mean, they can use wigs and have hair. Oh. Isn't that nice? Instead of having your hair go to the trash, they make it into a wig. And they give it to people who, you know, wish they had hair or, well, you know, they're using... Boys can also cut it if they want or yeah. they could just leave it like that. Yeah. Because boys can also have long hair. Exactly, baby. Not just girls. Exactly, mi amor. Anybody can have whatever makes them happy, right? Long, short hair. You can have short hair like a boy if you want. Whatever and, makes you happy. And boys can also kind of look like girls. Of course. Whatever makes them feel happy, mommy. Right? Yeah. All right, guys. So we're going to eat. Wait, and... what? All right. My pocket. <laughs> That's how it is, Mila. Alright guys, we're gonna eat, we're gonna enjoy because I'm starving. Say okay, bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> You're nervous now? So this is where she's getting her hair cut, Junior Clips. And they actually have like all these little cute hair accessories. They even got nails. Toys. Are you ready? They do nail polishes too, tattoos and light makeup. That's cute. I tattoo. No, you don't need tattoos. You can do tattoos at home. I'm gonna have these cute little bows. Alright Mila, you ready? Yes. We sign up here.
We just got home um but let me show you guys what we ended up getting jose so i got him this super cute watch it's really nice mila helped me pick it it's kind of like a black color so you see it's really nice i think he's gonna really like it um he doesn't have watches so i feel like this is gonna be a perfect gift for him i hope he likes it it's from me and the kids um, and then I did end up getting more gifts just like for my goddaughter. Um, I did not want to buy everybody a gift because then we would never be done. But we're just mainly focusing on like the kids and stuff. Um, but yeah, you guys, uh, the kids are with Jose now. I'm back home. Um, I miss my babies. I miss them so much. I feel like... You know, the hardest thing going through this right now is probably, like, not having the kids together, like, as a family. Um, so that's probably the hardest part. Um, but, you know, I think we're both really co-parenting really well. Um, you know, I think it's really important for you to have a good relationship with the father of your kids, especially because, you know, the kids are the ones that end up getting hurt and... While we were on this break, um, Jose and I spoke and we, we said that we wanted the kids to obviously come first. Um, so we kind of have to set aside like every feeling, everything that we feel to the side to kind of just be there for the kids, you know, and not use them as messengers because I feel like so many times um, when you go through a divorce or you're, you know, having issues with your significant other or whatever it, the case may be, we kind of use our kids to be like little messengers we're always like you know tell your dad this uh you know tell tell your mom this and that was one of the things that we both agreed on that we would not do that um i never ask mila you know i don't instigate anything i don't tell her anything about her dad him and my issues are our issues that she shouldn't be involved in in the first place so i just want to tell you guys if you're a mom out there and things didn't work out between your significant other, please do not do not be using your kids um, as a way to get revenge. I know a lot of times, you know, because we're so angry at the fact that things didn't work out, you want to kind of manipulate the situation and you're kind of like, well, I'm going to hit him where it mostly hurts him, you know, and, and that's pretty much the whole time, like pretty much it's always the kids, you know, and vice versa. Men do that as well for women, but 
you know, um, as long as you know that the father is a good dad, he loves his kids, he doesn't mistreat them or anything like that, you know, the kid should always, always have that privilege to be with their dad. No matter what happened between you guys, if he's a good dad, you can't, you cannot tell your kids he's a bad dad, you know, or that he's a bad person because then you're just filling their heads with, with nothing but trauma you know they're gonna grow up thinking their dad is this thinking their dad is that but no like if he's a good dad that's all they should know um you know obviously if he wasn't a good partner to you well you know that it is what it is but don't tell your kids he did this to me he's this type of person no if he's a good dad he's a good dad period um and don't use your kids against them let them see their kids let them spend time with their kids you know at the end of the day um, the kids are always the ones who suffer, so let them enjoy their dad, spend their quality time. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and chill out, and I'm going to close this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I'm exhausted already. I'm tired, um, and I hope you guys, um, you know, are just, uh, like, I, I hope you guys enjoy this, this video. I know it's kind of hard not seeing us together anymore, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, just praying every day. It is, you know, if it's meant to be, things will work out. And if it's not, God only knows why. But I'm keeping my faith. I'm keeping my faith strong. I'm praying every day, um, you know, and, and we'll see what happens, you guys. But thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys in our next video.